guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite products for the month of May and I'm looking at my items and it's a nice mix of drugstore and high end, something I just like to do in general. Um, it's always fun when it's all drugstore because it's all affordable but I had to dip into the high end just a little bit. Um, so the first product that I wanted to talk about that I have been loving, this is the Kat Von D. This is their Shade and Light Highlight and Contour Palette. Oh my god, I've been trying to get my hands on this palette for the longest and I was originally going to purchase it but when I heard that they were going to make the pens, um, when I heard they were going to make the pens refillable, I was like, you know what, let me wait for it in case I really do like it and that way I can just refill the pens myself for the colors that I love and that I'm running out of. I love the formula of this palette and I love the colors of this palette and I love the fact that it is a refillable like honestly um, I've tried the Anastasia and I've tried the Lorac contour palettes I've tried some drugstore palettes um, and I've really enjoyed those but this honestly this formulation and the blendability of it it was just insane like it was just a step up from everything I've used I was just really amazed at how much I loved this palette I'll link down below in the description box I did a comparison of the Anastasia, the Lorac, and the Kat Von D in case some of you were curious. You know, I've tried all three. What do I think in general? I'll kind of spoil it for you. I love the Kat Von D. Um, but if you guys are interested, a couple more details about it. I think this is definitely worth the purchase if you are looking to buy a high-end palette and you're just kind of wondering what should I get. Another palette that I feel like I've kept forgetting to mention um, for my April and May, but in general, I have been loving it. This is the Pixie in collaboration with its Judy Time palette. So Pixie did a couple different collaborations with a couple different YouTubers and one of them was definitely its Judy Time. She did an eyeshadow palette and a lip palette. Of course I had to pick up the eyeshadow palette um, just because I feel like I've been on a Pixie Beauty kick lately and I wanted to try out some makeup and I was like oh a beautiful neutral palette. I love that you can see all the colors. It's actually really nicely size palette. It, um, it retails for about $24, so Pixie's definitely more on the high-end drugstore side, kind of like Sonia Kashuk. You can find it at Target, but I was honestly really impressed with this palette. I didn't know what to expect. I've never used Pixie eyeshadows, um, and the fact that, you know, they're collaborating with YouTubers, I was like, okay, what is this going to be like? I was hoping that they'd still keep the quality. Um, I know sometimes when you're trying to, like, you know, duplicate and make a bunch of palettes, just kind of get them out there. But the quality is definitely there. You know, you're paying $24. I know some drugstore like palettes at like Walgreens and stuff are around the $20 range. I was like, okay, what is $24 gonna get me? And if you want a really nice, solid, neutral palette, I would definitely say check this out. The pigmentation is great, the blendability is great, and the formula, um, especially if you have matte shadows, and then as well as some of these shimmery shades are really, really like pigmented. Like you don't really have to like rub in there. It's not just like little glitters, it isn't like really hard to blend like it's actually really great like I find myself reaching for it this is definitely an everyday daytime palette and you can even mix down here and make a nice smoky eye nice evening palette I'll link down below I did a get ready with me for work down in the description box just a quick video of me getting ready but this is definitely a palette I reach for for the work day and as well as for the weekends when I, I just need to put something together that I want something nice and neutral or just something I really don't have to think about but you can really go really simple or really just you know kind of get something a little bit more edgy with it which is what I really like plus I've been watching it's Judy time since I was probably like 16 or so since I was in high school and you know I remember I would try to recreate hair tutorials and makeup it wasn't working out really great but you know we've come quite the long way so I definitely wanted to you know pick up this palette and you know support its Judy Time as well as Pixie Beauty drugstore brands. A foundation that I have been in love with this is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I have been eyeing this foundation for the longest. First of all the packaging is so beautiful it's so sleek so simple but the formula of this product is crazy like I didn't think I was gonna love this um I heard a lot of people raving about it I'm like okay another foundation that people are raving about I'm curious <laughs> because there is hype but I really want to know is this something that is you know that amazing holy crap this is that amazing like Jesus Christ I love this foundation like oh I wish it wasn't so expensive I think it's about like $45 or so. 
but if you definitely want to treat yourself if you want to you know kind of dabble into the high end a little bit I would definitely say this is one to check out I've seen so many different skin types try this and so many different skin types love this foundation and I have dry skin and for my dry skin I love it if you're like a medium to full coverage type of girl I think you're really gonna enjoy this foundation if you love stick foundations I think you're really going to love this it just it blends out like a dream I think it's amazing I'll link down below in the description box a review and demo full-on review and demo of this foundation that I did um, and just for reference I chose mine in the shade ivory and in that video in the description box of the review and demo I also list my um, foundation shades and other foundations that I've tried in case I know that kind of helps people a little bit kind of narrow down where they might be in the spectrum um, but if you haven't tried this, I would definitely say this is one to add to your wishes to check out. Back to the Pixie Beauty kick. Back to the Pixie Beauty drugstore products that I have been loving. I have been loving the Pixie. This is their skin treats. This is a rose oil blend. This is their rose oil serum. And I was using the Fresh Beauty Serum. I love a serum for after I'm done, you know, taking off all my makeup, removing it, washing my face, and then just kind of, you know, giving my face some sort of hydration since I do have dry skin I love serums I love the hydration and I wanted to check out the one from Pixie because I have been just every once in a while casually picking up some new skincare products from them because a lot of them say glow and hydrating and I was like I'm all about that because I have dry skin so I was like you know what I want to check out their serum so once I finished my other one I was like let me check this out and I love that it comes with a little dropper, but honestly, a little bit goes a long way with this rose oil blend. I don't even know how much I've used. I've been using it since I bought it, and I've I loved it. Honestly, I feel like two or three drops, you might be good um, for like your whole face, and it just feels so hydrating. And I just feel like I'm getting that glow. It runs for about $24. Like I said, Pixie Beauty is definitely more in the high-end drugstore. But for skincare, I'm definitely down to spend that much to invest in my skincare and really get good quality products. Another product that I have been loving is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I actually just have like the sample version. I think they sent this because I was like a platinum member and it was just like a free sample. But I'm glad I got it because I don't know how I would originally purchase it because it's a little bit more high end. Um, but this is definitely one of like those thicker brow pencil kind of like six, kind of like the Anastasia brow definer. It's just something really quick and easy just to quickly fill in your brows. And for me, like I have brows, I just need to get those sparse areas. And I think this is super quick and convenient. Like definitely while I'm just like on my commute to work, I can just fill in my brows really, really quickly. The color that I got, I think this might be like, it says three, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is like a universal shade, but this is like a nice light brown color that works for my brows. Um, I don't know if like I would test some other colors out and see if my perfect match. But I'm glad they did send me a sample because I don't know if I would outright just <laughs> pick this up. I'm a little bit more willing to do it. They got me. Um, as you can tell, mine is a sample because uh, the original one is one much longer and it also has kind of like the spoolie end to it. And it's just, Benefit definitely tries to get a little bit more cute and whimsy with their packaging so it isn't just something quick. Not always the most easy to store later, but definitely just something that, you know, kind of is different. The next product that I have been loving is a mascara, a new mascara that I've tried and I just did a review and demo. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, a new one that just came out for summer. It, I love the packaging. I love the wand. I love the way that it works for my eyelashes. Today this is the eyelash mascara that I'm wearing. No false lashes just mascara you know I wanted to do a demo but then also I was like we don't need lashes um I just you know kind of keep it a little bit chiller a little bit calmer today but I love it for those days when I don't want to wear lashes especially Monday through Friday I don't wear lashes for work Monday through Friday I know some people do I just that's not my thing slash I don't have time for that <laughs> so I definitely want a mascara that's really gonna work for my lashes they're kind of just in the middle they're not too short they're not too long nothing special so I definitely want a lash that works. I look for a mascara that gives me volume and length. And honestly, that's pretty hard to find. I feel like some mascaras are really good at one or the other, but I think this mascara is really great at doing both, giving you volume and um, giving you length. I'll link down below in the description box also the review and demo that I just did so you can kind of see it in action, so you can kind of see that like, there's really nothing much to my lashes, but what it can definitely do for my lashes. So I'm really curious if anybody who has 
Shorter Lashes really enjoys this mascara as well. But so far, I am loving it. So the last product that I've really been liking, this is the e.l.f. This is their setting powder. So this is a the white powder. It's like the sheer. I don't know if this is specifically the Pro HD setting powder. Um, but I actually picked up the yellow one and then I picked up this one because the yellow one for my skin tone is just way too yellow. <laughs> if you're more tan, definitely check that one out. But for my skin tone, I've actually really been liking it. I like the consistency of it. Um, and then I do like that it is a lot slimmer packaging. But when you're not pulling it upside down, it has the little sifter in there and then I'll just kind of pour it on the cap and then just kind of go in, maybe dip it in with a beauty blender or a brush depending what I'm doing. But I also like it to go underneath and carve out um, my contour and I really do like this, especially, you know, something quick to go to for work if I don't have a whole palette out. I'll definitely just kind of dip into this, put it underneath, wipe it away for any excess if I need to. Um, but I really do enjoy it. So if you've been looking for really affordable drugstore setting powder a sheer one or they have you know the yellow one in general um i would definitely suggest the elf one i've really been loving it so those are my favorite products for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, I love the fact that it was a mix of high-end and drugstore because I know some people just love drugstore, some people just love high-end, some people just love beauty products in, in general. Kind of like me, just like to dabble in both ends and really just try out a little bit of everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.